Before I start this video, I want to show you this card. I've been sponsoring it for a while on Twitter and Facebook because this card is really a badass. It's really cool, it's very silent and it has really good potential in mining for Ethereum. For example, it mines at 32 mega assets per second after the BIOS mod and it's even really good at Zcash and Monero whatsoever you want to mine with it. But it's still in the sale, so it's a really good card to go ahead and buy. But it's only in stock from April 15 because so many of you guys have been buying this card. But it's really good and I will put the link in the description below so you guys can find it really easily. Okay, so hopefully we answered the question for people that were still looking for cheap GPUs to buy. Well, that's a good card. But now we're gonna go on to the video. So first of all, what's gonna happen when proof of stake kicks in? The Vega is gonna come on later because we don't know which one's gonna happen first. So first of all, what you need to know is how big the Ethereum network is compared to all the other coins that we can mine. So we can see what impact it would have on the profit of the coin so first of all we're going to calculate how much gpus that will be released when ethereum is going to switch to proof of stake so the current hash rate is 17.13 tera hashes per second so i already calculated it and it's about 680,000 gpus on average if we think that every card is going to be 25 mega hashes per second and that's a lot of GPUs that are on the network. So 680,000 GPUs will be spread across all the other coins. So maybe like 10% is gonna mine uh, Ubik, some are gonna mine Ethereum Classic, uh, some are gonna mine Zcash, some are gonna mine Zcash Classic, and, and so on. So Monero is one good candidate as well, uh, maybe even Psycoin, but I'm not really promised about that coin. Pasco coin of course is still one option but it's pretty not profitable. So there's a lot of coins that we can still mine and even there's gonna be coins coming out later too that will give you some decent profit. So for example what if everyone would switch to Ethereum Classic the same day Ethereum switches to proof of stake? Well, Ethereum Classic only has one Terra hash. So imagine that 17 Terra hashes is gonna switch to Ethereum Classic at the same time. So that would be an increasement of 17 times the difficulty that it's currently on. So it would just take the Ethereum uh, difficulty and add it to this one. So what does that mean on the profit? So for example, we are currently at $15 uh, a day with raw uh, amount of money that you will be making. And we already pulled $5 away from it for our electricity cost. So what is gonna happen if this would multiply by 17 times? Well, the profit will divide by 17 times. So this coin would just vanish within the same minute if everyone would switch to Ethereum Classic. So that's why we need people to switch to different coins and not everyone switching to one single coin because that coin would not even last a minute. So I want you guys to pick a coin that you think will already be very profitable. You can also switch already to Ethereum Classic and because they have about the same profit. So if we can already spread it a little bit, we can go ahead and influence it into the network before we're gonna crash it out completely. But first of all, the Vega is coming out too. But a lot of people are thinking like, hey, when the Vega comes out, we're gonna have a really big difficulty bomb again. But I want to tell you one thing about the Vega. This card is gonna cost you 500 bucks at the very same day it's gonna come out. But what does it mean on the efficiency? So I'm gonna give you an example. The RX 480 and RX 470 are currently on, a, in, on an efficiency of 3.5 and the Vega will be a 4.5. So there will be an increasement of 25% of, of efficiency. So what does this mean for the hash rate? Well, of course, that card is gonna mine more efficient by 25%, 
but that means that the profit of the coins would just drop about 25% too if everyone would switch to the Vegas at the first day. But of course, this card is $500, so I'm not gonna imagine that someone's gonna invest like 4k into his mining rig just to be the first guy to have a full rig running on Vegas. So I'm not really sure that he's gonna get his profit out of that because the coins, uh, I mean the, the cards, of that we're currently using will drop in price anyway so those card will be like 150 dollars and the neo vega will be 500 dollars so take your guess on what card is going to be paid out the first the really cheap card or the more expensive card we don't even know the hash rate of the vega by the way but we're guessing it's going to be 39 or 42 mega ashes per second and maybe even some people are speculating it's going to be 100, but I'm not really sure what is going to happen, but I am really sure that it's going to be the 40 mega ashes, by the way. So it's really not threatening the network when Ethereum is going to switch to proof of stake, because if the network would just spread out on all the other coins, I would think every profit would be like um, four times less that we're getting now. So we're going to go back to... Uh, a few months ago when we were mining ethereum we're just making 150 bucks a month with our mining rigs currently we're making 600 dollars with our mining rigs every month so i think it's gonna divide by four times and we're gonna just go back to the old days but it's gonna be a long video i'm sorry for all the talking but i just have to do this so maybe there is one big test that every investor is making at this very moment. So maybe this is some sort of secret that I'm telling you, but it is really true. So what are banks doing at this very moment? They are watching us. They're watching the blockchain, how it develops, how we're going to keep this network up. So what, what do I mean with this? Well, the banks are maybe looking like, hey, what is going on when these guys have really bad times like will they keep up the blockchain or will they just give up and the blockchain would, would crash out and nobody is mining it anymore but maybe we need to survive these hard times like that when the proof of stake comes out and the vega comes out we will get really hard kicks in our ass and we need to survive this we need to go ahead and push through it we need to stay on the blockchain we need to keep it up no matter what People with solar panels, great guys, they will be the last ones standing because they don't even pay their electricity. So the blockchain will always survive. And I'm really telling you like, hey man, you need to try this. You never know what's going to happen. Even when you're not making profit that month, maybe the next month your coin is doubled in price and you did make profit the previous month. So this maybe sounds like Chinese, but I'm just telling you, we may be in a really big test at this very moment like they do it on purpose they they want to do proof of stake just to see what's going on with the proof of work across the whole network of the blockchains we don't know this so that's just the only thing i can tell you you will never make too much losses and gpu mining will always exist because it is made for a reason and it will always be like this so no matter what you can just go ahead and invest into your mining rig and get started today. It doesn't have to be an Ethereum miner, you can just go ahead and buy a Zcash miner if you want to. Everything is possible. So, hope you all enjoyed this video and if you still have questions or things you think about is happening right now or will happen after proof of stake, I'm really happy to hear what you are saying about it because I think it's really interesting. So, hope you all enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one.